I'll show you how to make this, this virtual business card with a free QR code. And when someone scans that QR code, it's gonna save your contact information in their phone. This means you can share your name, email, phone number, and website easily to someone you just met. Plus there's hundreds of free digital card templates to choose from. Let's get started and show you just how easy it can be. Scroll down to the description of this video and click the first link. Okay, so this is gonna open up canva.com. Now the good thing about Canva is there's a free version and a paid version. To create a digital business card, the free version has everything you need to create that today. That's the one I personally use. But at the bottom, you can see you can also create resumes, logos, presentations, stuff like that. At the top right, you're gonna be able to sign up for free without adding a credit card. When you click that sign up button, you'll be able to sign up by either using your email, Facebook login, or your Gmail account. It's pretty simple to do. And you're gonna search for what you want to create. So today we're creating a business card. So up there, let's search business card and see what comes up. Okay, great. And you'll see there's a bunch of different templates for you to choose from. Now you'll see some of these are horizontal and some of these are vertical. Personally, I think a vertical digital business card works way better because you're sharing it on a smartphone. If you print it out on like a badge that you wear around your neck, these vertical images seem just to fit better on the use cases for a digital business card. At the top, you're gonna see these different buttons. One of them says Canva templates. So let's click that. And when we click Canva templates, we're gonna have the option to add filters. So we'll click this all filters button. Great, now that that's selected, at the top, you're gonna be able to see formatting options. And right now there's no filters for formatting. Let's scroll down and select this one that says business card portrait. Okay, great. So now that this is loaded, there's a lot more things for us to look at and choose from. One important thing to note is although Canva is free, there are paid features. So the one way to make sure you're not accidentally signing up for those is when you hover over a business card, you're gonna see this little crown in the bottom right it means it's a pro feature that you have to pay for just like this one right here. And if it's blank, that means that's a free one to use and there's no additional charge. And let's scroll down and find a digital business card that we like. Okay, great. So this is the one that we're gonna choose today. Let's go ahead and select that image. When you select that image, it's gonna bring up the Canva editor. And here you're gonna be able to add and change different elements to the card really, really easily. For instance, we can hover over this logo here. Let's click it and click the delete button. Same thing with the company name. Right now, we're not gonna use that. Let's go ahead and click that as well and hit the delete button. The next element to this is the photo. So how do we get our photo? in that little spot. So to do that, click the photo, move all the way to the left and select upload. And then you'll see, I already have some uploaded photos here uh, that I've uploaded previously, but to upload your own photo, just hit the upload files button and you'll see your photo being added to Canva. Then select that image and drag it onto the screen. Okay, so now that it's on the screen, let's go ahead and pick up our image and just drop it in the little hole where the other photo was. Cool, okay, so now our photo, replace that photo. So this is starting to look really professional. Uh, you can center your image you can even make it look a little larger by dragging these edges. When you see that we dragged this edge, the background circle that was supporting that image also needed to be dragged. So let's go ahead and drag both of those. And then let's go ahead and pull this to the middle and recenter it. Okay, great. So now we got to change the name Daniel to Joe, right? So let's go ahead and double click Daniel. You can put in your name here. Underneath that, you're going to be able to add what you want the user to know about yourself. So for me, I'm going to put social media manager and let's go ahead ahead and spread this out to make sure it all fits on one line. Fantastic. Okay, it's starting to look better. Now underneath the contact information here, like phone number, email, and ID number. Personally, we're going to be using a QR code here to get this into someone's contact. So let's delete that for now. And then at the bottom website, we'll include that in the contact information as well. And let's get rid of this little design. Okay, great. So this is starting to look really good. Now we have to do the next step, which is to create and add that QR code. To do this, you're going to go to another free website called QR Code Monkey. And here you're going to be able to create a QR code and add your information information for the type of QR code you want to make. You see at the top text, email, phone, V card, all the different forms of social media. We're creating a virtual business card. So let's go ahead and click the V card button. Awesome. Okay. Now that this is selected, you want to add in here the contact information that you want someone to see when they scan your QR code. So let's go ahead and put in our name. Great. Let's put in our last name. Okay, great. And the next one is organization. So here you can either add your company name or you can add what you do at that company. So we're going to add the same thing we put on the business card, which is social media manager. You can skip some of these. Not all of them are required. We definitely want to have our phone number. So let's go ahead and add that there. Great. Let's move on to email and add our email in. And then lastly, website. Let's give them somewhere to click in the contact to learn more about us once they have our contact information. So now scroll down. There's a couple more settings that you 
can update on your QR code. One of those is color. So a black QR code or a colored QR code work the exact same way. Some people like to change these for the color of their brand. For instance, I always use this like teal bluish color. So let's go ahead and put that in here. And once you put that in, you can scroll to the create QR code. It's going to take the information up top plus the green color and create this QR code for you. Uh, now, personally, when someone sees a QR code and they're used to scanning it, most of the ones that they scan are black. That's the most common. So I like to stick with black just because it's the most recognizable and hopefully it triggers that action of someone scanning your QR code. Underneath that, you can add your logo. So you can upload your own logo and they'd actually put this in the middle of the QR code, which is really cool. Or if you're sharing contact information, what I like to do is click this purple cell phone at the bottom. And when you click that, you'll go select it and then you'll move over to create QR code. And when you select that button, it's actually gonna feature that phone right in the middle of the QR code to tell someone, what am I getting when I select this? And they're getting your contact information. So you can add any of these for purposes today. Let's just remove the phone, update the QR code, and then look under custom design. So on custom design at the bottom, you can just do different things to make your QR code pop a little more, change the color, change the pixels, things like that, but nothing crazy. Let's leave it all for the basics for today and click the download as PNG. So when you click that, it's gonna take a couple seconds. It's gonna go into the downloads on your computer. You see this happen right here. Awesome. And now that it's downloaded, we have to go back to Canva and upload this QR code onto our digital business card. We're almost there. This is actually really exciting. So now that you're on Canva, let's go ahead and select upload files like we did before. When you select upload files, this we just downloaded this QR code, but where did it go? It went under our downloads. So on the left side on your computer, you're going to see something that says downloads and you'll see something here that says QR code. Let's go ahead and select that and open it. Okay, great. So now it's on the left side. Now, like before, we'll click it and and drag it onto our canvas. All right, great. So it's here. It's it's super big, and it's some of the text is kind of uh, covering our name and our position. Let's go ahead and make it smaller. Let's move up our name and our position, and then let's recenter this QR code and make it just a little bigger. Right. Okay. Look at that, it's looking really good. Next, you have the option to add a backside. So let's imagine you're printing these out, for instance. If you wanna add a backside to your business card, go ahead and click this add page button. And here are your different options. One is you could just copy the exact same template that's on the front and have that template be represented on the back. So same thing front and back. The second one is you can have your name, position, and QR code on one side, like we just created. And on the back side, have all your contact information written out in text. In case you wanted to add something like this, not every everyone is going to be using a QR code. Some of the really older generations don't really use QR codes as much as younger people are familiar with them. And then the last thing is you can just keep it blank. Just put the same color uh, that you had on the one side and have everyone just use one side. For today, we're just creating a digital business card. So let's scroll to the top and click this little trash can button, cancel out that second page. And now that this is done, we're going to want to save this and have it on our phone or in our email and somewhere to share with people. So what you're going to want to do is click the share button in the top right corner. And then we're going to scroll down to the down download button. Now when you select download, it's going to ask you what type of file type you want. PNG is the one that's recommended, but personally for digital business cards that you're going to have on your phone, a JPEG has a much better format that works with all smartphones. PNG is a little wonky depending on the phone. So let's click a JPEG and then we're going to select the download button. All right. Okay. So let's test it. So let's go ahead and take our phone, scan the QR code. And just like that, your contact information is saved in that person's phone. Canva is incredibly useful and that's why it's one of the top two two most popular digital business card generators. The other one is Linktree. Linktree allows you to do everything Canva can do, but you can also add different links within your card that someone selects. It takes them right to that specific thing. If you wanna learn how to do that in just nine minutes, go ahead and click this video here. And if you're still around and you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Hopefully we can all find different ways of growing our network and making this a useful tool to everyone. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.